Sunday morning, Jerry does videos on Sunday morning. I'd said that I'm like a steam train. That was a video done a while back when my good friend Carol Criswell was still alive. That was the video that I said, like a old steam train, you take me out of the roundhouse and you shine me up and I will do what I used to do. Unfortunately, I'm old and I'm having a series right now of what they call, I think they're called TIAs. I don't know. You can't even go to the doctor with these things. They're little tiny strokes. But like an earthquake, I know that these little tiny strokes happening at great regularity might be the sign of a big stroke coming. And I've had a big stroke. And it was a long time ago when I was about 34 years old. But I know that these things are going on. Not to mention the cancer, two forms, and all that kind of thing. Well, yesterday, because of in, in the pressure that has been put on me over what happened with Carol, seeing her will destroyed and try, seeing her cremated when she really did not want to do that, seeing the trailer court manager handling the affairs, going in and going through Carol's personal property, it was very taxing on me. Nobody gives a damn. And you can't do much with the media. This past week, too, an answer to prayers of over five years. You know, my youngest boy that I raised, I wish he was mine. I wish he was mine. But my family's pretend is a boy that I was guardian to and I loved very much. He and I sadly have differences in religion. And I can't. I can't, I can't, as much as I love him, as much as I want to be with him, I want to be part of his life. These differences in religion have ripped us apart. It's sad, but it's a cross. It was Pope John Paul who said, one does not get off the cross. I move from one crisis to another. The crises that I deal with are very basic. There, we should live as Christians, and people do not. My God, Gandhi got it so right when he said the whole world would be Christian, but you Christians are so unlike your Christ. St. Francis of Assisi, who I try to, try to emulate as much as I possibly can, St. Francis of Assisi said, the Bible should not be read. The Bible should be lived. Today we're facing an election, and you watch it on television, and they're mingling religion and politics. Why in the hell does it matter if the candidate is evangelical? Let me tell you. It matters because the Constitution of the United States of America gives us a right to practice our religion, freedom of religion. See, how many times do I have to say, nations don't have souls. Our beloved Lord, the creator of the universe, doesn't give a damn about countries. He cares about souls. And that's what we should be concerned about. We don't trash people. He told us, what you have done to the least of mine, you have done to me. I have to admit, I'm tired, I'm old. How did the contact between my boy and I take place? Well, there was one phone call from him several years ago that I play almost every day with a religious message. Yesterday, one of these TIAs was so serious that I fell on the floor and could not breathe. I really thought this is it, because I could feel reality slipping away. I could feel the numbness that I've not felt in my head before. And I said, because I'd seen it on a YouTube video, the saddest words a man can say at the end of his life are the words I should have. And 
That's what I was thinking as I lay on the floor. I should have. Was the cell phone a gift from God? I don't know. Everything's a gift from God. I said, I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm not going to lay here on the floor and die saying I should have. So they're looking for a paper bag, thinking maybe he's hyperventilating. <laughs> it's all fuzzy to me. I said, give me that phone. If they, I'd say, call an ambulance. No, I said, give me that phone. And even though he had not communicated with me in years, the cell phone number was on there, and I prayed. I said, dear God, please let this number work. In the history of cell phones, has anyone ever had the same cell phone number for five years? I pushed the button. I did not know, recognize the voice on the end of the line, but it was my Benjamin, because I asked him, and he spoke with me. It was like a radiance. I felt it's resolved. I said, I have been a no good person. Please forgive me. And we talked. And I felt greatly relieved. That was a major thing. That's Christianity in action. It's not the words. It's not reading scripture. It's one person reaching out to another person that needs their help. It's about that. It's not just words. We have to help one another. We are interwoven. The churches do not do this today. Churches want to enter their own ideas. Churches are interested in money. We should be interested in souls. People are interested in the country and the flag. I stopped, I stopped putting a flag in the front yard might have to look in the history books when Kent State occurred. I shall never stand for members of the National Guard gunning down unarmed college students in the name of the United States of America. Never. Ever. Never. You're going to face if these these politicians today who have mingled their strange, demented idea of religion into the words written in the scriptures by our beloved Lord, you are going to face religious persecution. You are going to face the loss of the rights that were guaranteed by our founding fathers. These people don't understand. We are supposed to elect a president and then we stand by that president. The people elected that president because he was going to do things that would help us. And then they have obstructed everything they've done. They've spit, they've trampled on the electoral process. The one saving thing is God told us time and time again, my kingdom is not here. Let us concentrate on souls. Let us concentrate on making life better. Let us do to the least, because the least of the people those like Carol Cresswell and those like a young friend of mine named Robert that's in jail unjustly right at this moment who was his car was taken that he had bought here is the title okay, this is the Christian act it is wrong this kid had a warrant for not doing his work release and the other kid knew it he sold him the car they actually traded cars a Nissan for a uh, Crown Victoria. Here's the title to the car. He had a policeman come yesterday. He's in jail because of that warrant. Here's the title to his car. There's the guy releasing it. The policeman is involved in the theft of an automobile because that kid said he had the registration for the car and they were going to take the car. I hate injustice. So I yelled. I screamed. I lost my voice. Things are going to change, even if we have to start our own church, because we have freedom of religion. Well, we used to. There'll be more.